to do the intro. Uh, does it matter? Do you know how much a polar bear weighs? <laughs> I'm going to bring the ice! <laughs> Fuck you. We all know, we all know. All right. Are you fucking karate kidding me? That is not <laughs> karate kidding me. <laughs> Are you karate kidding me? That's fucking Fuck. brilliant. <laughs> you know, Mr. Miyagi doesn't have sex. Mr. Miyagi walks off. <laughs> <laughs> On that bombshell. Hi there. Hey. <laughs> Back to tent. Back to tent. My name's Dakota. Um, we're here to review some cigars this evening, and we're, we're combined together here with the Fifth Avenue Cigar Team, including... Oh, my oh, oh my Fuck God. you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I've never I seen him on the was going online. I was like, uh, I'm, I'm Mike from uh, Northern Knives 3DK. You're, you're just Mike. I'm Mike. I'm, I'm yeah. fucking, you, you know who I am if you're smart. First officer, Mike. <laughs> Go to the last video. We'll say our names again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you're just joining us now. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome Still to the shit show. If you got here from the Philip DeFranco show, fuck you, man. <laughs> Joe Rogan. <laughs> just, I don't know. I just like... I, okay, I, so who are you? I just alienated somebody. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, what the fuck, man? I like headlines. I'm Kellen occasionally on uh, Northern Knives side, the other occasion on uh, Fifth Avenue side. Cigars and knives, man. Oh, they're fun. Sell them all. <laughs> uh, I'm Alistair. Northern Knives. That's it? That's it, man. That's all oh, I got. Man, cool. That's all I got. What about you? And I'm Chad from uh, Fifth Avenue Cigars and the Precision Edge. And that's it. Oh, oh yeah! So now you, owe, now you owe us money you're fucking promoting on our channel. <laughs> Wait, our channel? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Fuck. You got a saw blade? Just got a if this was a night video, you'd owe me money. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. What are we reviewing today? All right, let's Ooh. get to that. Well, there's a theme to it where we got to kind of not to... Uh, not over budget uh, cigars. We wanted to go yeah. for like we wanted to go for like um, everyday budget friendly kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something that, that you can smoke good, right? and it's not offensive. Yeah, something you that's good. good. Yeah. You're not even gonna break a ten spot. You walked yeah. into the humidor and you were like, I don't want twenty five dollars cigars. Yeah. <laughs> Give me. Let's do the affordable ones. I got five bucks. Yeah. What do you got? Nobody's having a baby this weekend. This is just a good like bad, <laughs> bad patio cigar. It's a boy and it's a girl's cigars are cheap as fuck. That's true. That's true. All right. Yeah. What so we, we got the uh, Price Fighter from Gurkha. Um, I don't know. We can get into all that later. Let's yeah. just pass yeah, it yeah, yeah, start yeah. lighting them. And then we got the uh, Mark Twain here. Oh, who's it's having a Mark Twain? Who's having a Mark Twain? I think it's pronounced Twain. I would like one as well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Twain. <laughs> Mark Twain. I think, you, I think you're wrong on that one. Is there no, A.A. Ron one. here? A. A. Where's A.A. <laughs> Ron? Jake <laughs> Wellen. Wait, let me smell that Price Fighter. You might switch it up. If you do, I'll switch it that's a lot more subtle. This, this smells a little sour. Mine's got like a hint of... This it, smells really mellow. Mine almost like kind of smells like cloves, you know? Like, that. maybe that's the hint I, of spice I don't, I don't talking know about. cloves, man. I only well, don't they both have a hint of spice, they claim, right? Mm -hmm. white, white pepper. White pepper. Who's got the white yeah. pepper? You do. Yeah, this strikes me as something that kind of requires a punch. Yeah, you're not going to want you know, want. like, if you can't stick it in your nose, you should probably punch it. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual ah. advice. <laughs> if you can't stick it in your nose, you should probably punch it. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said jokes now. <laughs> I'm just Are you karate kidding me? Now, remember, you want to just, you know, slit the tip here. <clears throat> uh, Sorry. That's all good. Dead air? This, uh... This, just right off the bat, is mellow. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, you're not see. lit yet. Never mind. Yeah. I'm the only one that's lit a prize fighter so far. Yeah. This guy was kind of it's waiting okay. for that uh, okay. lighter, but... Man, holy crap. Extra. Jesus, yeah. dude. Yeah. Hold on a little bit Why further back. Okay. 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 That thing. Yeah. As long as you get it fast, the dry thing is... A uh, right. <laughs> little turned up on this one here, guys. Yeah. The red one almost took off across the room when I lit it. Yeah, we we like big flames. And big cigars, and big trucks. We're not compensating. Which one of us has a big truck? I got a 2005 Honda CRV. <laughs> it's an all-wheel drive. It's got it's got VSA. I don't know what that is yet, but I'm afraid to turn it off. Does it have VTEC? <laughs> it does. Bro. Yeah. Bro. It's a sliding cam. Have you had that VTEC kick in yet, bro? <laughs> uh, yeah. Bro. No. no, I keep it in D3 because I don't want to unleash the beast. <laughs> D3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't want to unleash all four cylinders at once. <laughs> it's, it's a school zone. <laughs> Turn the override button off. Click the ECS. No thanks, Honda. I'll tell you when I want some fucking traction. <laughs> I'm never going to like this thing. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? I'll end up in the parking lot of cars being like, Okay, I want the traction! <laughs> Spin it out. Click it on oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Dude, my girlfriend drives a late model Hyundai. This is like 2014 or something. And the solution... Wow, that's really mellow. Yeah. Their traction control solution is just to kill the accelerator whenever you start oh. slipping. Because they know their demo. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Hey, like, look, Mom, we don't want to spill the groceries in the back. We're just going to kill this thing and coast it out. My truck applies the brakes to the tires independently. Mm. So anytime I lose it, I can feel it like... <laughs> oh, it's kind of an awkward thing, but it works real well. It just feels real weird when it happens. You know, Because you'll feel like, you'll, you'll feel one, like the like passenger front tire, you'll feel the brake lock up there, and then you'll feel like you're... Drive a rear lock. It's like, it's like, <laughs> around. Yeah, it just kind of, it just kind of, <laughs> and then it goes. Oh, that's got to be terrible. I've, I've got got to... uh, two buttons on the dash. I flip up, and then I've got locked. Like turbo boost? No, it, it like it, kit. It's <laughs> lockers. Oh, okay. oh, lockers. You can just say I have lockers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought it was my traction control. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gonna no, say like, no, my front guns just. Pop up. <laughs> that is the oil slicks. So I'm like, <laughs> no, mine does that automatically. My smoke <laughs> it just leaves the oil. My Land Cruiser had a permanent slick screen out the back. So my uh, Ford uh, Fusion, it goes ahead and uh, you know when it starts slipping, it engages that titanium. <laughs> And then, uh, Wait, it's what, what I believe it is, so I don't know. It says titanium on the back. I've got go. adamantium in my car. I don't know go. what it actually does. That's the trim level, you dude. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Mike's helping us adjust real quick. While he's doing that, uh, my initial impression of the prize fighter here. <laughs> so the marketing swag on this is that it's supposed to have, be really mellow, hints of leather, Oak, yeah, actually, I cream, taste that leather, and it's supposed to have a little yeah. bit of a uh, little bit of spice that. to it. And off the mm. usually on the offset when I light a cigar, it's a little bit hot, a little bit spicy. This was just smooth. Well, and this is yeah. what you said. Domin you said Dominican filler. Yeah, it's supposed to have like three year, three year aged, four year aged Dominican filler. Dominican filler. filler. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think of the Mark Twain's? Did they come They're with no back. ass? No, 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 I cut it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It was like, <laughs> it's thing, such a yeah. clean cut. It's like, did you come <laughs> yeah, like that? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're good, though. Right? It's pretty, pretty, pretty smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely mellow, man. I, I don't know if I taste anything specific about Well, Mark Twain is smoking 22 cigars a day. They ain't all Maduro. <laughs> yeah, you gotta fucking <laughs> kill the show. It's like, I got to the end of my book and I had some extra pages, so I rolled them up. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Get any white pepper in there, Kellen? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, definitely no uh, leather on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of that white. That's Nicaraguan filler, right? Uh, oh yeah. So far, I'm gonna say nothing. I was gonna say peppery in this one. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got. Uh, I mean, there's like nothing offensive about this. Thing, Tastes a little bit of. Which I don't know if I like bit. that or not. I mean, it's a little bit of. Uh, I want a little bit in there, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. it's like 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 Grey Goose vodka. Like there's there's just no flavor yeah. to it. There's yeah. nothing to it. It's just yeah. anonymity vodka. If you really search for it, you might be able to. I definitely taste, taste the cream. It. I, I, I get what they mean by cream. It doesn't taste like cream, but it's like got that weird, smooth, kind of silky mm. feeling on your tongue. Mm. So as you uh, as you take a puff in, go ahead and try to stick your tongue as close as you can to the. Uh, did oh, you do yeah, a punch yeah. or whatnot? Yeah, I did a punch. You're gonna get a little bit more uh, flavoring over top of that. Kind of see, see the hint of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe as um, we get down a little bit further. Yeah, I'm sure maybe it'll hit a stride. Or I'm betting. I'm gonna just get down around here. Taste a little bit of huckleberry. <laughs> Oh, fin <laughs> might be just a little bit of whitewashed fence. <laughs> I was just gonna say. Yeah, hang on. I'm sure this uh, trans out doesn't progress too far here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you can't start introducing too many characters before we get an email. A spoiler alert. Yeah. Oh, about Huckleberry Finn. I should read it. It's a good book. No. Uh, I've, I've seen the movies. Or as I like to call it, <laughs> I've seen the movies. I'm basically hot box in mine. Or as I like much. to call it, Tom Sawyer 2. Tom <laughs> Sawyer. The land before Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can I have that uh, rum up there? Mm. 
very I'm stealthy. getting a run on mine. How did I, what happened? Just uh, flip it uh, over. We smoked a from... sub $10 cigar. Ah, no, <laughs> so, okay. no, 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 you're all right. If, if just you have... try to pull out the other side of your mouth. Flip it over? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, just flip, yeah, flip that. Flip it way. over. Flip, right. flip it over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, flip, flip it over. It, it, might, where... it could be the fan. I don't yeah. know. Oh, you, you mean the, the long side up? Yeah, I think yeah. I think that's the way. I can't remember. It's either that or if you it gets turn worse it to the bottom. Yeah, exactly. Or you can always. Yeah, so if you've ever noticed, we do get long runners every once in a while on very high quality cigars. This isn't too bad for We a, also uh, have a fan pointing at us because there's five of us yeah. at a table. So it's not necessarily the cigar that uh, is the reasoning for the runners. We have, we what used a, to have a lot of fans blown I, on us yeah. at one point. <laughs> what was the, the howitzer? It was, I had a real bad, yeah, yeah, it was the howitzer. I kept turning it and it still kept running on me, but yeah. like I said. We, oh, with that thing. How, <laughs> there's no control in that monster. This is burning pretty quick for a big fatty cigar like this. Oh my God, I feel like I'm fall, falling behind. Ooh. Oh, oh shite! No, no, you, you fucker! So close! Cut this, this one so off, close. officer! Yeah, that's all right. So you just worse. toss that shit on the floor. That's the plan, yeah. man. That's we the got plan. a million other mouse pads. Not on the dog. Not on the dog. <laughs> those are wasn't my fault this time. <laughs> those those are specialty sound deadening pads we use on the table. Oh, they're not mouse pads? No, they're not mouse pads. They're not knife pads that we use upstairs as knife pads. Definitely not. <laughs> no, I've no. never seen these before. These, oh. Yeah. I mean, That's we good. paid good money for these. At I least mean, $20 th a pack. These things really? they are came, not... They I came. mean, <laughs> these things are not even <laughs> branded on it. <laughs> they came with the shop. That's right. Well, I've got a giant box of them. I've probably got 300 more. What do we want to uh, rate minimum. these on a scale of? Halloween movies. Love like it. Halloween Love Halloween, it. or ha movies revolving around Halloween? Movies around Halloween. Not so movies one named is, Halloween. One, the lowest yes. is The, the okay. Crow. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> Scott. 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 No, no, we got to rate it in terms of Halloween movies that Alistair's never seen. Yeah. Yeah. So the Crow. So he's never seen the Crow. So feel free to make fun of him. The Crow's got to be number yeah. five, right? Yeah. No, the Crow's not the best Halloween. It's not movie. the best, but it's, it's, the best no, it's up there. But man. you can't give it a number because then we would just uh, assign numbers to everything. Is, so we gotta. What's oh, the, what's the kinda, worst Halloween movie? And the Burbs. Uh, oh fuck no. that! I love yeah, that I love movie. The no, 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 no. Yeah. Have you, you ever seen Monster Squad? As a oh kid? yeah, yeah. No, it's a terrible <laughs> fucking movie. You never seen Monster Squad? Oh, oh my god! Oh, so this. It's uh, not ter they tried to make the Goonies for Halloween. Yeah. Oh, and they got upstaged. I can't remember what came out that it's same week. It's called Monster Squad? Yeah. I it's think it's terrible. Oh, you watch it as an adult, man. I it think is it was absolute garbage. No, dude, it's fucking hilarious because they got away with a bunch of shit that kids would never be allowed to do now. Yeah. Like, there's this little five year old girl trying to rally her friends. She's like, come on, guys. Don't be a bunch of chicken shits. <laughs> and, like, dude, they're dropping F bombs, like, the, uh, of the maggot variety, you know what I mean? Oh, like, shit, okay. You can never get away with this now. Not that you uh, should be able to, but you, it, it's astonishing because you're watching it. And you're like, I can't believe those children are saying that. Like, <laughs> when was this movie made? 1987. So it got okay. a lot of the year. <laughs> wow, <laughs> zero hesitation. Jesus. So the week it was supposed, to, the week it was released, Fred Savage had a vehicle called Little, Little Monsters. Monsters. It completely upstate. No, no, no. The Lost Boys actually killed it. Oh, but okay. Little Monsters came out that same year. Dude, the and Lost Boys would the, kill anything. Yeah. Is Little Monsters yeah. a Halloween movie? Yeah. No, well, no, it's like a monster movie. Mm. It's, it's basically Monsters Inc. Right? Who put piss in my apple juice? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All these. Okay, so what the best, you? the best line. I like that though. The best line from Monster Squad is Wolfman's attacking these kids. And this is crazy because <laughs> Wolfman's got nards. No, Wolfman's yeah, got nards. That's from Monster Squad. That's from Monster Squad. Wolfman's got Kick nards. Kick him in the nards. Wolfman doesn't have nards. Kick him in the nards. Boom. And Wolfman falls to the ground. Wolfman's, Wolfman's got, got nards. <laughs> How the hell do I know <laughs> that? Because <laughs> you've seen the movie. That's a household phrase, my dude. Yeah. You've seen the movie, oh, Mike. You just okay, forgot so, it. As amazing maybe, as Monster maybe Squad sounds, should we rank them in terms of like Rob Zombie movies? You gotta do that. Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Do we have right? enough John Carpenter? It might be real close to Halloween right now, but by the time this movie oh, is, God, God damn it, it. it's gonna be like yeah. a Christmas movies. Christmas movies. Thanksgiving movies. Thanksgiving movies. movies. Oh, God. Okay, so everybody rates it a Christmas vacation. <laughs> or, uh, what is it? <laughs> oh my God. Um. Nah, I think uh, that's not a bad idea, though. Christmas Just a genre of type of movie, but you gotta justify your answer. We though, could do. We could do monster flicks. Well, that's what I was going to say. You could do, like, Freddy. You know, you could do Mike I Myers. don't know if Freddy's a monster. Yeah. Freddy yeah, he is. Krueger is pretty much. Of course much, he is. Yeah. Monsters and or boogeymen. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah I, think, I would say can. Freddy's more of a boogeyman. Freddy, well, I would consider a boogeyman a monster. Freddy, Jason, and Mike Myers. Are yeah, all right. boogeyman. exactly. I mean, he didn't kill children. He's, that's a monster right there. I mean, which is the one? <laughs> which is the one you would least want coming after you? Godzilla. Right. Right. Uh, yes. well, Godzilla. <laughs> I, I, see, Mike Myers is the only one that's like actually a human, so that would be the easiest, right, to kill. Okay. And then you have to do Jason because Freddy can find you in your dreams. I think Leatherface. So and you have to sleep. Yeah. So I it's think Leatherface. None of them run though. Answer. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Because those are more slasher. Wait, flicks wasn't, that, wasn't that just loosely based on Ed Gein? Yes. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Leatherface. Fucking yeah. belt of ears. Uh, no, it's, no, it's, it's belt nipples. Of nipples. His nipples. He had a belt made out of nipples. Yeah. That, it shouldn't be funny. Belt. What the it fuck? It shouldn't be funny. Type of top. But it is. He's like, what, you got a spikes belt? Huh, that's great. Yeah, so... Let me, uh, let me rub this belt, see what happens. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> I, I need to look this up, because I have never heard oh, this Oh, you didn't before. know about the... I, I knew it was based well, on uh, some sort of true story. Uh, oh, Texas, Texas Chainsaw, Chainsaw oh, very, very loosely. Very loosely yeah. based, yeah. But uh, like the, how they have all the skulls in the house, like all decorated yeah. in the original one. Or like the remake with Arlie Ermey was pretty good. I think it was yeah. called A New Beginning or something. No, like no, no. It was the original. Uh, the, the, the New Beginning was the sequel to that one. So yeah. 2003, Jessica Biel. And, God damn, uh, how the fuck you know this shit? I know, I know. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> have you not seen the beard? Yeah. No, so the girl, they're, they're doing fine until Arlie Ermey finds the joint. Yeah. And he's like, you kid's been taking drugs. <laughs> that's, like, that's the best way to that's identify the, weed. That's the one that uh, I like, the one with uh, the newer one. That was one of the Ernie. greatest remakes. Yeah, yeah it was. It Which was one? pretty easy. The Hollow, or the uh, it's, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but it was a remake of the, a remake-ish of the original from, uh, and it was done in 2003, 2003, apparently? yeah. It's like a reimagining. Yeah. yeah, it had uh, Joey Belfour from uh, Fearless, was in it? Okay. You know, Joey Belfour? Yeah. <laughs> no, he, no, he was never seen again. Okay, well, there okay you then. There you go. With Joe Bob Briggs. He was killed on set. What are you, the admin of his fucking IMDb page? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to step behind the wall and be like, Joey, you wouldn't believe it, man. You're getting crazy exposure today. <laughs> Check out youtube.com backslash 87 lowercase b. <laughs> Blah, 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 dot HTML. <laughs> Joey, baby, we're back! We're back! Don't cash that check yet! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so, we do have to call these uh, after something, right? Uh, okay, how many Rockies were there? No, stop. This is uh, one through wait, five. Wait, wait, wait. Seen wait. Of them. Price fighter. Oh, yeah. Why not after boxers? Or just no, fighting okay. movies but in just, general. How about just fighting movies in general? So. Yeah. Fighting movies in general. Fighting mm, movies in general. Okay. Because if we limit it to boxing movies, I'm out. Because I've only seen three. Mm -hmm. But you're a big kung fu guy. Yeah. yeah. No one kicked Bruce Lee ass. <laughs> I mean, once upon a time in Hollywood. I was gonna say. I saw that last yeah. night. Yeah. You know they banned that movie in China because yeah. Bruce Lee got his ass kicked. You know what? Because even, he, even though they clarified. Because he lives in Hong Kong, but he's very pro-China. He's crazy. Uh, 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 Jack Chan. We're not talking. Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry. Bruce Lee's dead, bro. I know. I for some reason I was. Uh, his kid's dead. Too. I don't know why. I, they both dead. Yeah, his kid died. No, because when we're thinking, crow, we're the worst <laughs> Halloween movie we're, ever made. So. We're thinking fighting movies, and so I automatically started going through my of head course, into yeah. Jackie oh, yeah. Chan movies, yeah, yeah. and then I didn't make the connection that yeah. I was being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky you caught me before I just took a second. Yeah, like, I immediately was like, "Oh well, well, yeah, Jackie Chan movies. I can. I know five. So in terms of fighters, if we have to do one through five. Oh, we do one through ten. Oh, oh no, we just each pick a fighter. Yeah, you pick your own uh, Before, movie. Pick a movie. Yeah. Yeah. pick a movie. Get an analogy that works for your cigar. Before we do that, that, let's make sure we hit mid stride so that we're getting the full flavor of the yeah. cigar. Yeah, I'm yeah, getting yeah. some white pepper. I don't know about you. <laughs> you getting that pepper? It's coming through. That pepper. It's coming through. Mm. American Ninja Four. White pepper. <laughs> I am getting a little. <laughs> You know, uh, on my phone, you know, you can have Siri call you whatever you want. Yeah. And so White Peppa. There's a basketball movie in the 78, I want to say. Anyway, and, uh, Siri calls me White Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> La Flama Blanca. <laughs> I just call it. Um, Did you ever see that screenshot where it was, uh, Siri, I'm bleeding, call me an ambulance. Okay, from now on, I will call you ambulance. Ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> What flavors are you guys getting now at this point? Because I'm starting to get the hint of spice on this. It's, it's a little bit more prominent, yeah. But uh, it's not not bad. I feel I, like uh, I could smoke two or three of these in a day, no problem. I yeah. noticed uh, twenty-two of them. <laughs> I noticed. I feel like I, I uh, it's uh, it's less. It, it was almost blending with the whiskey that I was drinking, and I switched to the rum, 
and it's more. It seems a bit more complex now. Now that I don't have junipers, I can well, I mean, it. it's 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 very oaky, say, leathery kind of. Terrible. And then you know, I'm drinking whiskey out of a fucking oak barrel, and it was just kind of blending. Mm -hmm. That's why I switched to the rum, and I think um, it's a, it's a bit more complex now. And it's yeah. also probably hitting its stride, and I'm just yeah. making all this up. I will give this bit of advice: uh, highly botanical gin, <laughs> probably not the best pairing. <laughs> I will say I legitimately am getting some pepper and definitely some leather in there. Mm. It's good. I like it. There's no leather for the Mark Twain is there not? as far as their marketing. But if you're getting know, leather, that's what I'm. That's what I'm getting. Don't pinch well, if you also get the thing, oak, you get the oak and the <laughs> you get the oaky and the creamy too. Yeah. Then it's yeah. stand, stand a reason. Then again, we can always call bullshit on their marketing. I mean, you can market it however the fuck you want, and people. Yeah, this doesn't taste like cherries at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they only dip the tip. Yeah. <laughs> Bing! We need to have a that's what she said buzzer. <laughs> Do you want a little counter in the bottom right hand corner? Yeah, yeah. We'll right. do that next time. <laughs> this doesn't yeah. taste like weed at all. <laughs> okay, I'm halfway through it. I'm not even high. <laughs> yeah, I'm liar. not getting that nicotine rush <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah, they just. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad though. Uh, it, it's a. Uh, Smooth, but the, the pepperiness to it. I gotta find one, man. That's there's no pepper. You know, I think that one just says uh, hint of spice. Uh, we don't have a board. You're nope. looking at the we wrong don't have one. A board. <laughs> See, that that's our person over there. That uh, <laughs> if you're still if you're still correctly. with us, can you let us know if we should have cue cards or not? That'd be great. <laughs> a cue card is something like the intern holds, so you know what to say. Can we get interns? Ooh, we can. They're well, not as, as, they, as long as they work for free, I only, guess. Only for this bit? Yeah, you totally could. God, it reminds me of uh, fucking 100.5 before they left the state. Mm. What, what's her name? KSLX? No, uh, the Fox. Uh, Shauna Jean. No, that's no. what they're all, all the. If it's about, uh, it's a. If it's about one hundred, you, you should know who they are. You're talking about uh, the two the guys state, in the Woody morning. Woody and Wilcox. Um, Woody and Wilcox. Woody Wilcox. Yeah. They used to have a pre-recorded skit of the most like cracked voice teenager ever. Ever. Who's the intern saying? Yeah, good show, guys. <laughs> At the end. What do you think, Jerry, the intern? Good show, guys. <laughs> And boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> Did you ever see that clip? And uh, boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> and then cut back to him. He's just like mouthing. Like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dude, complete. It was like a college television broadcast. He said it like four times. Yeah. <laughs> but he didn't have any enthusiasm in it, in it anymore. Syracuse advances. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, 32 down. And boom goes the dynamite. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, that was a good clip. <laughs> All right, so link uh, to it right here. Uh, nope. So, nope. No. What are you getting? What are you getting on your cigar, man? We'll go around the, the more table. You know is what I want. <laughs> so, yeah. you've got a prize fighter. What are you tasting so far? Uh, at this point, that whiskey. You gonna ash that fucking thing? No. You're gonna ash it on the table. Is what you're gonna do? It's not no. like he's not gonna ash it till it looks like Gonzo's nose. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking black cat. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, it's nice. Uh, the yeah, oh, bitch, called it. Yeah, man, that was like goes. science, bitch. Thirty oh, no. seconds. How, how long are you gonna smoke no, one of the don't, Halloween don't. snake before you think it fucking falls over? <laughs> Snakes and sparklers are what I like. So now I know I got till there. <laughs> so what are you taste You want a so sharpie far? and mark it off? Yeah. What do I taste so far? Uh, Just that, use that, that to sweep pepper. it on the floor. The pepper is uh, the biggest thing. I don't know. I think I saw some red in there. Though. This shameless fucking dude is going to... Oh, I <laughs> forgot we have carpet now. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yep, we've improved oh, our sound deadening. He Even just... though it's a complete warehouse down here. Yeah, we, have carpet. we record in a warehouse, but we put two throw rugs in there. Well, at, at least you <laughs> threw it on the ground. I thought you were going to update it the does. Facebook page and be like, Hey, we have punk ash now. <laughs> For those outside Alaska, just Google Kotzebue cocaine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, really. Oh, God. Yeah. And it doesn't go up the nose, huh? amazingly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can rub it on your gums. Dude, it's, I've looked it up on the, on the Google Nets, and it's, uh, it doesn't exist outside of Alaska. You know what? No, I haven't seen one mm. example of it. Yeah. You know what we call Google at, at, at the other job? Duck, duck, go. Scan it. No, no, no. Bing. Whenever we refer, <laughs> we're, we're referring to Google, I'm just consulting with the super tech. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, we call it the Oracle. Well, uh, Google hates that the Google is used as a verb because you can't trademark a verb. Ah, so uh -huh. if people refer to just Google it, 
Nice. They hate that because well, it makes it difficult for them to trademark their name you know into what? other things. Fuck them because Kleenex is used universally. Yeah, but you good for Kleenex. Q-tip? And Q-tip yeah. and Coke. Yeah, we had a whole thing in school. Oh, if you're in the yeah. South, all sodas are Coke. Yeah. Yeah, but what are can what I get? Are, can I get a Diet in? Coke? <laughs> I'm in Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Dakota, but no one the, ever means Pepsi. <laughs> the thing about the Google is that uh, they should be okay with it because what is that person doing when they're Googling something? Going to their freaking website. It's not like they're going go, to Yahoo. Or I anything. go to Alta Vista generally. Yeah. <laughs> duck, duck, go. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> also, missed. No, I'm just kidding. Like, but you have to the, use the Wayback Machine? On, on an iPhone, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's like my mom. She was like, go, go to Ask Jeeves. <laughs> <laughs> mom! Uh, does that one still exist? Stop, uh, you're, you're oh. embarrassing me. There's <laughs> Alexa's going to hear you. There's an option on iPhones to set up your default search engine as DuckDuckGo. There's an option oh, yeah. on every phone, every web browser, every there, phone. I every think they phone. were legally Duck, Duck, required no, to. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo doesn't of, save any information. Speaking of Coke, oh, so there Duck, was Duck, there was uh, Russian newscasters on the border of Syria and and Turkey. Mm-hmm. They went into all the abandoned U.S. camps, and they're like, oh yeah, just, oh, yeah. To, just to demonstrate how fast the soldiers left. They're walking through, videotaping the camps. There's like oh, meals half eaten on the fucking tables. Coolers full. And they go over there, and there's coolers still powered by a generator. And they open them up, full of coke. And they just focus on the coke, and they're like, "There's still coke here." And every single newscaster focuses on the coke because apparently that's the most American thing in the camp. Uh, I too have seen John Oliver. Yes, <laughs> I was gonna say. Yeah, well, I did watch tonight. that too. I watched that too. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. I didn't realize. Did they really leave that fast? Though? Yeah, yeah, they did. Up and out. Yeah, they they had like six hours. Cause what was it? A few a few years ago when they this is getting really heavy for a cigar review. Uh, a few years ago when they <laughs> remember when they retreated and they burnt lit all their Humvees on fire. Right. I, I yeah. want to say it's when they retreated out of what? Uh, not Baghdad, but like some, they didn't they didn't retreat. Not retreat, but like. Or was it the Iraqi army? Or like the. Why don't you ask uh, Chad what the proper term is for Never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll ask Jeeves after this. Can you hand me the whiskey? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, before you go too much further, what are you tasting out of your cigar now that we've actually talked about it? Well, I got Chad all over my shorts. That's, that's from last it. night. <laughs> we don't call it that. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. It's good. They're like, do you have any it punk is. ash? No, but I got Chad ash. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's different. Uh, no, I definitely taste the pepper now. Definitely. Yeah, it's getting very, very peppery. I, I, really? Like I taste it peppery. in my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's getting heavily, like, I almost mean, too much a little bit. So it builds up All right, quite then. a bit then. Yeah. So you. let's um, let's go a little bit further. We'll bullshit. Uh, what, what are you tasting? It's, at this point, it's just a face full of pepper. It comes right. It's in the eyes, it's in the nose, it's in the mouth. I'm pretty it's, damn glad I did not grab that one. Because <laughs> the last one I had, that uh, yeah. Alec Bradley Black yeah. Market, Same that thing was just... And nothing but pepper. Like, the more it tastes, it's like scale, uh, offensively Unless pepper. you're really into pepper, <laughs> would you grab one of no. these or would you grab an Alley Bradley? Oh, I'd grab one of these uh, left and right. Uh, and to put it in perspective for our viewers, like, we have a huge markup up here, but as far as like if we, if we use Google's price rate schedule, which is a single dollar sign to four dollar signs, this is like a half dollar sign cigars. Yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. They're inexpensive. Yeah. Uh, some places you can get these for a dollar a stick, maybe a dollar fifty. Can we say why there's a markup? Because I, I thought it was fascinating. Tax. Uh, Our tax rate of there, there? the specific number of that tax is one hundred and sixty. No, it's one hundred. It's one hundred thirty-five percent. We pay in taxes up here. So huh. if you buy, uh, so if you buy, if we buy a cigar for a dollar from a wholesaler. We have to pay the municipality a dollar thirty-five in taxes on that one dollar cigar. Well, that, that's which split, means uh, split between the state and the muni. Yeah, yeah, split um, between the state and the muni. So it's a, it's a cumulative thing, but uh, so that would mean so what you know, like when I was down in Kansas, I think it was eight percent. So they pay uh, like their cost on a cigar is a wow. dollar eight. Wow. Our cost is two thirty-five on that same cigar, which means That's to crazy. make money with it sitting and shipping and all and that. We, and we have to have a profit margin in there, and we have the largest humidor in the state that we have to maintain and things like that. And but we do, um, you know. But we still manage to get five dollars cigars. Yeah, like we do. Well, we do five or six yeah. prize fighters, mm-hmm. five or six. Well, cigars. and that's another reason we did this video is because we do everything we can to try to get a quality cigar and not fucking try to raid somebody's wallet you know what i mean i i smoke cigars too i don't want to go up there and 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 be and be 
pummeled for eighteen dollars every time yeah. I want a decent smoke. Like I said, uh, it's not like somebody had a baby. It's yeah. not like you're getting married. Yeah, it's, it's like those. You just uh, want to have a cigar. Like those devil's <laughs> weeds. Those are a perfect example. Yeah. Even yeah. up, even up here, they're crazy cheap, and uh, I can have anything I want out of that humidor. And I'll, I, at one point, I was smoking three of those a week. <laughs> Oops. I gotta say, these, <laughs> these prize fighters. I think that, like, me personally, the perfect wrenching cigar. Oh, because you can sit there, you can have you your little bourbon. Wrenching cigar. Yeah, wrenching. while you're in the car. Yeah. So, yeah. like, I'm working on my Jeep, and I've got it sitting on top of my bourbon glass over on the counter, and then in between switching tools. Take a few puffs, make sure it's still lit. Yeah. Take a little sip. You know, go back to what I'm doing. <laughs> I bet this turn one. turn the wrench a few times, put that wrench away, yeah, grab another one, another puff. Another puff, yeah, yeah. Get the thing. There we go. And it doesn't it doesn't fucking hit you like a fucking <laughs> yeah, ton of bricks, which is nice. Yeah. So you could in theory have two of these over the course of like three or four hours of wrenching and you wouldn't feel Dude, like crap. He has gotten to work on this cigar. Yeah, that's uh I I have an oral fixation, so. Are we still doing phrasing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and put it right there. Mark it, dude. You know what? He <laughs> does the editing. He's just gonna what's, fix it. <laughs> what's uh, what's what's that phrase? TMI. Mm -hmm. My wife understands. Just enough, am I? Just, just enough. enough, I. <laughs> just enough, I. J E I. Just hey, you show. know we're filming. Sorry. No, I got <laughs> a buzz buzz. I got yeah. a buzz buzz. You know, text message you gotta check I think this is quick. still part of the edit that he's gonna cut out. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> we don't edit shit out of these things anymore. <laughs> Unless it's a, a crazy, offensive, inappropriate joke, we don't edit these. My, we have never edited for those. Oh yeah, we oh, haven't. Yeah, we have <laughs> you know, it's funny because when it's quiet at the cigar shop, like the you know, it'll be between songs on the stereo, and I'll just hear like blah 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 blah. I can edit. <laughs> and just laugh. I'm like, hey, you left that one in. <laughs> Yeah, those are fun. All right, what are we gonna, all right we're, we're reaching stride at this point. These guys are all yeah, pepper. Yeah, what yeah. are we going to compare these this to? This isn't really... These uh, monster uh, these are or pretty fight, good. Movies? Fight, or fight movies? Fight movies. Uh, fight right. movies. Fight movies. Fight movies. Okay. So, fight movies. should we give it a minute and let everybody ruminate? Because yeah, I got nothing. I think I got mine. Mike bringing out his $5 words. What, ruminate? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got the perfect one for this. What is it? The Raven? Hardcore Henry. Oh my god. Oh, Hardcore Henry Jesus. was a movie. Why does it taste like monster? <laughs> <laughs> Hardcore Henry Is your name was Kyle. Do you no, no, feel no. like punching your hand through a wall? Only if it's drywall, bro. <laughs> you gotta take that monster to get your power. I better watch out. You're lucky I'm not wearing my good chain. Otherwise, it'd be wet wall. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got it wet, bro. It's easier to punch. Uh, Hardcore Henry was a movie that I took my girlfriend Amy to. <laughs> oh God! And what she read? No, she read that it was a uh, an imported film. It was like because it was it was shot in Russia or something. She's like, oh my God, I didn't know you were into foreign films. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did she see the got her? Yeah. Yeah, she got, got her. Got you, bitch. <laughs> so we're sitting there, and it's all first person, right? And this is why the cigar is like Hardcore Henry, because in the beginning you're stoked on it. You're like, Mark Twain is a cool motherfucker, right? Then Hardcore Henry, in the beginning, you're watching it, you're like, this is some cool shit. And then, like, it feels like a video game. Over and over, he keeps, like, <coughs> not dying despite the odds. And then the last 20 minutes, the third act is nothing but fight after fight after fight mm. after fight. And you're like, all right, I'm oversaturated. None of this impresses me anymore. Now, add 20 pounds of ground pepper into your eyes. <laughs> yeah, <this is> yeah. <laughs> and that's the Mark Twain. Which I'm not saying I don't... I don't not recommend. Ooh. I'm just saying. <laughs> smoke these outside. <laughs> well, that is. Uh, I really like that analogy. Yeah. It's hard for Henry until the end. So, like, you buy a six. Well, you buy an inexpensive cigar. You get halfway through it, and then it becomes unenjoyable. And at that point, you put it out. Yeah, 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 totally. It's getting, so it's getting real intense. They right claim now. that that's a 45-minute cigar, but in reality, for enjoyable use, it might be like a 20, 25-minute cigar. Mm. Have we been here for 45 minutes? Oh, probably. Yeah. So? Well, it, well, it, it says right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, how silly of me. <sighs> All right, how far is the, the red line? Yeah, so it's, it's, the red it's line. about right here. I think. We forgot to set the timer. Let me follow up that analogy quick for my Mark Twain. <laughs> it's going to be the entire Rush Hour trilogy. For the exact oh, same no. reason. <laughs> for the exact same reason. Who's starting that great? You're excited about it. Even the start of Rush Hour 3, like, oh, it's going to be great. And then you're like, oh, oh okay. they made a 3? Oh, yeah. They made oh. a 4. Oh, well, yeah. I know they did. Are you serious? I'm I think, it's, sure it, they I think they are making no. a 4. They are making a 4. I don't think they've made it yet. Dude, Jackie Chan, I don't care who you are, <laughs> the fact he's doing it at 70 fucking years old. 
old. Yeah, right? it's so fucking days. impressive. Yeah, he can't even speak English. He just memorizes his lines off his script. Yeah, he he doesn't. Speak. Very, very broken English. Like when you hear him uh, speaking in movies, it's really? all like, yeah, he goes off cues from the script. He, he speaks terrible English. He is wow. dedicated. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, he's a very talented guy. Have you seen him? Jesus. By the way, yeah. by the way, stands for Hong Kong. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie Eminem. Jackie Chan. Sure, no, he bro. doesn't. He he's mainland. To. He's been in. Enti- he's been mainland his entire career. I I, I remember he did like. I would double from check both it, sides. but I'm afraid to pull my phone out. That motherfucker is man. <laughs> he lives in Hong Kong. Uh, I brought this up on accident. Yeah, when yeah, we were talking about Bruce yeah. Lee. Uh, he lives in Hong Kong. Stands for mainland. That's crazy. No shit. He huh? is. Re- he is pretty fucking red. Let me. And he's had. Uh, he's wait a minute. Is it pretty rad or pretty red? Red. Red. Okay. 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 I was gonna then, say. I was like, wait a minute. My, my employer. <laughs> like, I'm not. No, he's pretty red. He's pretty red. Unless he has flipped his script very recently, uh, Jackie Chan is mainland. I believe it. Mainland yeah. all the way. Yeah, I believe it. Well, um, okay. If you're a billionaire, well, if you're a millionaire like he is, it's well, it mainland billion, China is yeah. probably all right. There's a lot of new money in mainland he China. He lives in Hong Kong. Yeah. Okay, right here we will put yes, uh, right or wrong, right about. No. Uh, I don't like mm. any of this. <laughs> we just, just get away All from right, that so topic. Let me, let me pick a fight with you real quick. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, no. That's, uh, it's okay, because this, this is one of those issues where 95% of America is on the same side, and that other 5% can go fuck themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. Oh, man, but I like Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> Diablo says, was really fun, man. Says the guy who hasn't owned a video game console since the PlayStation 2. <laughs> yeah. I've been playing the Blizzard game since That's Diablo the last one I owned. Didn't Mike, Blizzard? you should get an Xbox. Blizzard made Warcraft, right? Oh, like, like Starcraft 2 is... Not Starcraft. Sorry. Okay. All right, so... Uh, Jesus. Rating. <laughs> I got to think about a movie, man. Um, hold on. I'm trying to think of something. I, I'm, I'm I was, go ahead and I'll be honest. Say, uh, I was really impressed with myself when I whipped out Hardcore Henry. That's that was good. Pretty good, yeah. It's good. Mine's a Rocky. <laughs> Original why. Rocky. Um, I mean, it wasn't the greatest of acting by uh, Mr. Sly Stone. But I don't think that's <laughs> the correct Sly. pronunciation. Wait, who are you talking? Who? <laughs> Mr. Sly Stone. Sly Stone. <laughs> um, Do you mean former porn star <laughs> Sly Stone? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but uh, yeah, the Italian stallion. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, it's a it's. I would, I would go see that movie again and again and again, but I'm not gonna go look for it. I'll, I'll go look for a sequel, something a little bit better, maybe when he beats the Russian. Yeah. Um, mm. But uh, I'm not gonna seek out that first one unless. If you happen to be in a bar. And it's. On, and they I'm happen to be playing a, like <laughs> if you happen to be in like Beartooth, just there for the booze, and they're like, "Hey, you want to see the movie? It's Rocky." You'd be like, can I drink in there? Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, you can drink in there. All right. Huh? All right, so That's is... It. Uh, it's not something you'd turn down. It's not something yeah. you'll seek out, but if it happens into your hand, you're going to have it again. Exactly. What about you, Alistair? No, you already did I this. already uh, dropped my The Rush Hour trilogy. Oh, uh, oh yeah. funny fact yeah. about uh, Rocky. The turtles he feeds, what does he call them? Uh, he still owns those turtles, doesn't he? They're alive still. Yeah. The turtles yeah. in Rocky. Yeah, he uh, thought they were are like, like fifty-five pets. years old. Now. Are they for sale? No. no. He, he. I want to say he called them something dumb. Like, no, but they're for Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> we're a little inebriated. The we're only mainland alone. China turtles are. Dude, the- Chad! Chad! Hey, hey, I thought you had your line marked down, man. What are you doing? Back onto the carpet. All Back right. onto the carpet. <laughs> All right. too, too much laughing. Too much laughing. There's a this vacuum is- over there when we get Dude, done. You this is at least $60 in <laughs> <All right>. carpet. <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't get your security you paid deposit in Vegas. $60 for that? That's <laughs> goddamn sure. Several right. cents so, in cigar ash. So we interrupted sure. your story. Oh, here. the turtles. Oh, no, that was pretty much it. He named them something silly like Cot and Boom or some shit. Of course did. I can't remember what the name of them are, but those turtles are still alive. Um, that's really all I had. Oh, man. All right, you two oh, are uh, okay, to get so a I'm not going to pick a yeah, movie. Yeah. I'm going to pick a chicken fight from the family guy. <laughs> <laughs> because when it starts out, I'm cool with it, and I like it, and the more it goes on, I'm just like, I'm God fucking done it. with this. <laughs> Can it just be over? It's getting worse as it goes on. Yeah. I'm never going to do later. it. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> What's this episode? Season 8, episode 4, not watching this one again. <laughs> Because this fucking chicken fight is enough. <laughs> so it's dra- dragging on for the you. The prize fighter is for sale uh, at like it, 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 uh, You know what? It's it's not. It's getting worse as it goes. 
and that's the chicken fight for me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is like, there ever a point when it's like gone on so long that it's back to funny again? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. What about when the chicken starts like goes to coffee with Lois? And Peter is upset. <laughs> Sees him in the window. Okay, so I'm only, I'm only picking, a, I'm only picking a, a single chicken fight. Yeah, I'm yeah. not picking the okay. chicken fight anthology. Yeah, the dynasty. Yeah. yeah. House Spider might have like, a really good does, series, man. The second we turn this camera off, I'm picking up that cutter and I'm cutting this fucking cherry off and I'm throwing this thing down. Uh, I you would not I, do it again. I couldn't. I couldn't be done with it faster. It started out great, but uh, if it was that way all the way through, I smoked three inches of it and call it a day. That's what she said. Oh, count it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to do that now. <laughs> We're gonna have to do this like as met- Metalocalypse characters. You'd be like, "This is the Doctor Roxo of cigars." <laughs> Fucking sick of him. Thirty seconds in, <laughs> he does cocaine. All right, I think you're up. Yeah, you're the last. Oh, dog. Does come on, the weapon? Space. Yes. Count as a fight movie? Eh, and there's lots of fights in it. I don't know if it counts as a fight. Well, the first one does. Well, I mean, it's not Bloodsport, but it ain't fucking uh, Steel Magnolias. Uh, Bloodsport shot in Hong Kong. Actually, you know what? Bloodsport. <laughs> what year? 1985. Yeah! I'm coming to you with my Wikipedia. <laughs> Ask me about canon films, bro. I love that shit. You know what? Oh, I would God. actually rate this a Bloodsport. Because if it's playing in the background, I'll totally watch it. And like I said, it's a it's a great wrenching cigar. So like, mm, mm. I, got, I got a little would, TV in the yeah, shop. Yeah. I got a plan. I'll play random man movies. Good yeah. callback. Yeah. Got blood sport. Yeah. I'd have this playing in the background. I'd come back to it. And the fact that I think the reason why the flavor's going off is because it's too hot. Because they don't have mm. it packed tight enough. Right. right. Yeah, it is. The I mean, it I is, was worried yeah. that I was. It is. This too feel fast. how squishy yeah. this bitch. Well, you're you're starting yeah. to fall apart there. Too, oh like, yeah, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's yeah. not. It's still nice and, it is. Yeah. It is a good right. budget cigar. Huh. And about to where you get to my point here is probably where you want to stop. If it were, if it were shorter, I'd be. I. I think I'd be more all right with it. I just think it's too long for what it is. I. I'll get I you enjoy a, it. a little robusto next time. The Twain, honestly, yeah, this Twain could be half the size. Oh right, yeah. And I'd be okay. But with it, it couldn't be called a Mark Twain. I think that's, okay. the, I think that's the only so, size I can so get. So we those. have we have absolutely failed in our task to pick quality yeah. budget cigars. Well, initially. No, 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 no. Not no. a fail. No, let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> let me finish, and then you can do your initially, and I'll I'll say initially back to you. Okay. But like. I think if you're doing another task, the Price Fighter is a fantastic cigar. The reason why the flavors are going off is because it's getting too hot. Yeah. It doesn't have tightly packed fillers, mm-hmm. so it's definitely a cheaper cigar. You're not getting the same kind of weight of tobacco, the same kind of tight wrapped fill you would on a higher end cigar. But if you're doing another task, you're setting it down every five minutes, coming back to it 20 minutes later. I, you might have to relight it a couple of times because you're puffing on it and you're doing something else. So it's almost like you're smoking the first two inches of it all the time. Yeah. and I could see that. At that point, it'd be perfect. It is the perfect lawnmower cigar. I would, I would, mm. I would, ag- I would agree with that for sure. Yeah. But just sitting here, putting it down, yeah. mm. uh, it's not agreeing with me. I that, gotta n- say, not a relaxing type of cigar, but no. a, a worker cigar. Smooth. Yeah. It's smooth. It's yeah, yeah. good. And their their whole thing is, Prize Fighter. They went with that name because it is a tough. I'm going to smoke a bunch of these. I'm going to be doing other tasks. I'm going to be working. That was in their marketing literature, mm. and I fully get that it. makes sense. I didn't know that. That makes sense. I, would I, be, I could see that for sure. And mm. I got to say, I'm probably going to pick up two or three of these and throw them in the humidor at home because when I'm working on the truck. I don't want to fucking smoke a banker because a banker demands. I yeah. fucking sit down because mm-hmm. I'm gonna fall uh, on my I, ass. I could see that turning wrenches in the garage. I'd have one yeah. of these. I, yeah. I would because I because I wouldn't be on it the whole time. Yeah, just smoking. And that would make it a little bit better. But as a dedicated cigar, it gets a fucking F. But as like a you know throughout the day as I'm working on stuff, cigar. Yeah, yeah I think they achieved their goal there, and I think that's what they're marketing towards. So that's why I'm giving it a fucking lethal weapon because okay. playing in the background, you can occasionally see what's going on. The action scenes are good. Fucking Mel Gibson before he became a fucking Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> but after he was obsessed with torture, mm. didn't he get tortured in Lethal Weapon? Yeah. And Lethal Weapon Two? Yeah. And Lethal Weapon Three? <laughs> yeah. With your old motherfucking pitchy. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want, Leo gets. <laughs> so. <laughs> 
I like that his undercover vehicle is a giant fucking red Tahoe. <laughs> <laughs> That's so a blend in. Overall, yeah. for the Mark Twain's, would you say they're a good continuous cigar? Because that's what they're marketing them as. As a continuous smoke? As a continuous smoke. Mark Twain? 45 minutes of a continuous enjoyment experience. I feel like it may be getting a little less peppery, to be honest. <laughs> It's okay. actually, it's weird, it's smooth right yeah. here, I'm still hitting yeah. it. Yeah. I'm, che- yeah, I'm chewing on it like it's a fucking pacifier. So now you're right. feeling like you're going to finish it? Yeah, like I'll get to the band for sure. Thanks, man. Well, you're Appreciate at the it. band pretty much. You can yeah, you you pop those things off and go all the way down to the nub. Are you guys with the band? Because <laughs> I'm going to get there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need an ending joke. You just got Kellen here to mess <laughs> up with anything. <laughs> Welcome to the Variety Hour. I just need blue cue cards. Like... <laughs> so, uh, Channel and 5 then you throw cigar roundup. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't know if I'm dedicated enough to this to get it past the band, to be honest. Yeah. I think that's, that's where. Now that Mike's tapped out, I feel you like. You need I to pull it through your nose real quick. <laughs> yeah, so that's how you Oh, do it. God. <sighs> you can get that with a cigarette. Don't these don't will be, be real good for my polyps. <laughs> now, one way to get a little bit more uh, notes out of it is take a puff in and then blow it out your nose. But. I've tried that a couple times, and I instantly just start coughing and just, it, it, it's a weird thing. Don't, it. Here's the thing. I think Mark Twain. Yeah, there, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I ain't doing that. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dakota. It's Dakota's birthday, by the way. It is tomorrow. <laughs> it should, well, it was two weeks ago. So you watching at home. How dare you miss his birthday? Shame on you. <laughs> Fuck you, Jim. I, I, I didn't say do it. I warned you about the coffee. You did it? You did it? <laughs> I did it too. Pledge! Yeah. I handled it. I didn't handle it quite as well as Dakota did. No. Oh it's my a God. different uh, Here's different the thing I think about Mark deal. Twain. I think he was writing a book all the goddamn time. And uh, oh. was, was he the type to down, smoke it? Put it down. Type, 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 type. Take a little poof of Rudy. No. Poof of Rudy! <laughs> in, this, in this day and age, it would have been. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Right, smoke, that's smoke, what I'm smoke, thinking, scribble, yeah. Scribble, scribble, like, he, smoke, he smoke, wasn't, smoke. like, pulling a... Well, not Mr. T. What was the guy in the A-team that always hit a cigar? Hannibal. Hannibal. He wasn't pulling a Hannibal. <laughs> like, like smoke, <laughs> fucking eating cigarettes there, Mike. I know. I'm not going to tell that joke anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Hannibal? What, no, you got to wait uh, a year for that one. <laughs> yeah, so, like... Uh, cause, yeah, because I, I, I don't have the softest voice in the world, so I always kind of sound like this. And I... Uh, there's, a, uh, there's a point one time where... Um, Michael Madsen is telling a story where he's at his house. Mr. Blonde, you talking about? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And Nick Nolte lives just a couple houses down <laughs> and comes over to his house and knocks on the door and is like, hey, dude, come on. Hey, I want to, you know, he's like, oh, hey, hey, hey. He's telling him about this shit. And the guy that's interviewing him goes, what the hell do you two talk about? Hey, you want to eat another cigarette? <laughs> because they both sound like that, right? And so uh, I told that joke in like episode two. And it came back up like every episode. It's and I realized topical. that's great though. But I realized that the punchline is like it's in every episode and it's fucking it's tired at this point. So I have to refrain. It's only tired to you. It's not tired to somebody who hears it. But I, so I have to refrain every time yeah. I'm going, you wanna eat another cigarette? Yeah. <laughs> Nick Nolte yeah. showed up at my old. house once and he was like, Hey, will you hide me from the cops? <laughs> <laughs> no, that it, actually happened to me. I was uh, hey, holy shit. <laughs> I was rehearsing. I was uh, uh, I'm a drummer in former days, and uh, I was rehearsing with the band. Uh, our band went through several iterations. His band name is Former Days. Didn't you fucking hear that? <laughs> yeah. In former days, my band was called uh, What do we Halcyon start? Halcyon Days of Your Panty Christ. So oh yeah, the band. Panty Christ. We saw the music video. Yeah. No, no, that no. That was no. good. That was... Wait, but you changed it four times. So when yeah. were you mouse rat? So Panty. <laughs> <laughs> First we were Panty Christ, then we were Murder Boner. There you go. And then we were Spreadator. So when I was playing for Spreadator, because if it bleeds, we can kill it. <laughs> Stop quoting your dad's commercials! <laughs> so when I was playing for Spreadator, I was drumming, we were playing like a five hour practice stretch. And right next to this rehearsal studio was a 7 Eleven. So I go in there and I'm like, hey, yo, can I use the phone? And this uh, Latino fella who's working the counter is like, are you running from the cuffs? <laughs> I was like, no, man, no, I'm, I was drunk. <laughs> but I looked down and it just straight up like had the V, the, oh, yeah. the deep V, the underboob sweat. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. 
I would say that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My name yeah. is DJ Pendejo. I need to make a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Pendejo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's the horn thing. <laughs> <laughs> what is that?